from the uh, from the other uh, right now. from Looks the, like the other aircraft out here, the other the law enforcement. Right now I'm going to get the you a little bit more information here, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. This is uh, northbound this police situation ACH. right now in California. Yeah, it says I got this. That's what it says on its on his truck, and apparently he started a fire. Los Angeles Police on Department Topanga Canyon. Uh, was talking about I don't have they a cross on the pursuit Canyon. earlier with this. But apparently uh, he's not getting out of that vehicle, uh, and it does appear that. Okay. Uh, he was All a right, reckless driver driving sure thing. on the wrong side of the road. That was what was being reported to rep police right there, and now we are seeing this. All unfold right now. Hopefully, uh, the suspect will get out of the okay, car. Okay, cool. And, Thank you, uh, Benny. Just, just All give right. up here before. Thank you, uh, Benny. Putting more lives at risk here, but uh, you can see the standoff right now happening with police as uh, this driver has come to a stop, but he is not getting out of the vehicle just yet. No, that's as LAPD. You can see they got other choppers high above watching the action. That's the old All LAPD. Unfold. Stand by. And welcome everyone here on News Now from Fox as we continue to bring you this uh, breaking news alert of a police standoff right now. This is near uh, Topinka Canyon right now, and uh, you're seeing this silver pickup truck being stopped by the police that were being told that it was reckless driver going on the wrong side of the road before coming to this stop right now and we're all watching it unfold right now on news now from fox but you can see chopper now showing us the fire there in the distance as well so uh, the chopper pilot uh, very busy and active uh, right now here in California. So you got a fire off in the distance. You also have this police standoff uh, just miles away as well. Let's go back to that lower. Th okay, here we go. Unfortunately, that driver has decided to uh, make it a chase once again. So we are watching this all unfold live right here on News Now from Fox. Just a reminder, everyone, that you can uh, watch us on News Now Fox. Dot com. And here we go. This is a, a really scary situation, though, because obviously this driver is in this uh, pickup truck, but he's also carrying this trailer that at any moment uh, can just whip onto the other side of, uh, of traffic here. So this is what we are seeing right now as that trailer continues to follow along and that pickup truck driver deciding not to have a standoff anymore and... Well, now continues on this road. He'll just swing it. <clears throat> Vinny, can you push in on those wheels? Put, put, push in, yeah, so he's got, he, those are flats too. Yeah. All right, everybody, so uh, soon we will be getting more coverage from our sister station, Fox 11. But right now, we are taking this all unfolding right now as uh, you just putting a lot of lives at risk now because obviously that trailer is zigzagging left to right here as this uh, silver pickup truck continues to push through. Now, there were reports earlier when we saw the, the, the smoke and the fire that could have been caused by this individual right here, this driver, uh, as he was getting too close with that trailer and it could have sparked a fire there out on the roadway. So we'll continue to follow this all for you right here. Soon we're gonna get 
from our sister station in just a moment, Fox 11 with the coverage. So we appreciate you joining us like we always try to do. Anytime there is breaking news, we bring it to you right here on News Now from Fox, always showing you everything that is happening live and raw across our country. And now we are going to go to coverage from our sister station, Fox 11. Your voice too, Marla. When he went out across those double yellow lines, if you just don't want to see that heavy truck going into oncoming traffic, people just driving, enjoying the Pacific Coast Highway, and have this monster vehicle just heading right towards them. Now that trailer, definitely a problem. Is it going to fall off? I doubt it. Those are designed mm. to be held on very very tightly and very securely. That safety is a big deal for those types of trailers. And then on top of that, it's designed to carry a lot of weight. Right now, there's not that much, there's nothing in it. It is just the trailer itself. But you can see how it's just kind of swinging around down there. If those axles start coming out, those are gonna be other issues altogether. Again, though, this is a pursuit. LAPD right. chasing this vehicle right now. Pacific Coast Highway, we're getting into the Malibu area. That truck, the driver, look at him. He's just enjoying his latte right now, and this yeah just really 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 concerns me because he is definitely taking other people's lives or if not injuring other people this could go south very quickly people could get hurt hey Stu a couple of uh, takeaways there seems to be a logo maybe a work emblem on the side uh, driver's side there so looks like obviously a work truck of some sort and then also written it says I got this I got this. Yeah, we saw that too when we first arrived there on scene. I was just glad it wasn't any kind of profanity. Now he's getting into that center lane. Now remember, when we started this, he was stopped. That vehicle was completely stopped. LAPD was there, and they had that vehicle surrounded. They won't get in front of it. That's definitely, they, that is that is going to be a complete no-no. A big vehicle like that, that could be a dangerous weapon against law enforcement. Right now he's stopping. I'm going to have Vinny just get a little bit of a wider shot right now just to see where the officers are there they are right there behind them again all the proned out and you can see there's a vehicle basically backing up on the southbound lanes there on Pacific Coast Highway just trying to get out of the way smart move on that person's part right there why is he stopping is he taunting these officers this is all stuff we're gonna have to figure out that fire though continues to burn in the Topanga Canyon area was it a malicious start was it a start because the trailer was was damaged all these questions of course we're going to figure this all out and put this story together probably later for folks tonight but right now i can tell you the very dangerous situation that is a big vehicle can do a lot of damage it stopped here on california on the Calif uh, sorry on pacific coast highway in the malibu area and then i can tell you we're very very close to surfer beach out here so we're i can actually see it out the window but again why he picks these spots why he's doing this that's all up to that driver right now just hopefully this comes to a peaceful end. Uh, and of course, LAPD, they're down there. They're not playing. They want to bring this thing to an end, but they can't block this car in. So right now, they're just going to have to see if that driver obeys and gets out of that truck. So here we are in Malibu, northbound uh, PCH, yet yet again, uh, it looks like all lanes, southbound and northbound, are blocked because of this pursuit. There's at least six uh, LAPD officers out there with their guns drawn. As Stu just mentioned, we've seen this scenario play out before, just a couple miles southbound uh, down the road. When we pick this up, uh, th the driver was stopped and then just decided to go on again. So, uh, Stu, specifically your location, you are in fact in Malibu? We're definitely in Malibu. Surfer Beach is pretty much right underneath Sky Fox right now, and that vehicle completely stopped. You can see some of that traffic behind them right there. And, of course, they, they stopped the traffic on the southbound lanes on Pacific Coast Highway right there. Uh, and if that was an officer or maybe just a, 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 a civilian being vigilant of what's going on, don't know, but they're giving these officers the room that they need to operate out here. Now, that driver, I can see his arm out the window. It does look like there is some sort of communication going on back and forth but you can see him very relaxed down there and obviously this person has a ch has a chip on his shoulder and he's, he's trying to prove or do something down there but whatever it is he's doing it's putting a lot of people in danger putting a lot and of course now started a brush fire in the Topanga Canyon area uh, Vinny the camera operator our camera operator this afternoon is basically saying that perhaps he's on the cell phone we just don't see that mm. part of him and that he's being animated with the other hand out the 
window. But again, this, this suspect not in custody, and as long as he's in that vehicle, there's that possibility that this guy is just going to start driving once again, and this whole thing's going to start all over. There are so many interesting and bizarre elements to this pursuit that you're watching live on the air right now, Fox 11. Seemingly the end of a pursuit, but we've seen this before where the suspect just stops on PCH, kind of plays with officers and then uh, goes on uh, again. So this is uh, stopped in the middle lanes here, all of lanes of PCH. Uh, he was traveling northbound, have been shut down in Malibu as a result of this. And if you're just joining this coverage, another interesting element is that this suspect may be responsible for starting a nearby brush fire in the Topanga Canyon area. As a result, Topanga Canyon Boulevard is shut down in both directions as fire crews uh, work that brush fire. Uh, Stu, uh, we've been under red flag uh, conditions. Uh, we have just went through one of the hottest weekends in California history. Thankfully, it's just in the in the 70s uh, right now, according to what I'm seeing uh, for the Malibu area, low 70s, so more like room temperature. So the heat, not as bad, but nonetheless, we don't want to see that brush fire that has ignited. So maybe if Vinny could pan up as we continue to look but at this activity, just to see, can see you, you can't see the fire from your no, perspective. No, we can't see it. We, we, yeah, we made, our, we made a, we made a good distance away from where that is. And then, of course, uh, LA City Fire was there just moments ago, basically working on it. And County was over there working to put that fire hmm. out. We did see at least one helicopter drop when they first arrived. But there was a lot of fire making its way up that hillside, a lot of green out there. People are always kind of confused by that. They say, oh, green doesn't burn. Green burns just as good as the brown stuff. I can guarantee it to you. And all the firefighters know that as well. And you're right, though. It is much cooler today than it was. And then also, a lot of humidity out here, especially by the beach. But that fire was really starting to move when we first when we first passed it, making our way to this pursuit. Right now, though, that is the culprit. That's what we're going to probably use the best word right now because we don't know if it was malicious or if it was because that trailer was damaged and perhaps was sparking as it was being dragged along the roadway there. Hmm. But right now, this is definitely was a pursuit. The uh, LAPD wanted that vehicle stopped at one point, and that vehicle refusing to stop. And now. He has stopped, but yet he is not getting out of that vehicle. You can see uh, LAPD officers right there. They might have some, uh, those might be lethal weapons and or they also might be a pellet gun. Hmm. Uh, most of the time they use, if, if it is a green or a red type of gun, They'll be, they'll, you'll see that, and that'll be the less than lethal, probably a beanbag or something like that. But right now, they don't have to break the windows because the windows are down, so communication can be made. You can see one of those officers right there with LAPD with a green weapon and a green uh, uh, um, a lanyard around his neck. That is definitely going to be a less than lethal type of uh, round, probably a beanbag or something. So if he gets out, he acts belligerent or possibly reaches for something, they might use that to subdue him. Right now, though, you can see still hand motion. So I'm guessing, you know, Vinny's usually right about things like this. He's on the phone down there. And that animation that we're seeing is him basically talking to somebody, hopefully. That person is just telling him, get out of the vehicle. We can work this out. Whatever you did, nobody got, nobody's really been hurt, and so we can fix this, and hopefully he takes that type of advice. What we're hearing from CHP, that uh, reported brush fire, the specific location is north of Panga Canyon Boulevard and Entrada Road. Uh, it looks like they did make quick work of those flames, uh, uh, even though we saw those flames rushing uphill pretty quickly. So uh, that's good news. Uh, as we uh, continue to cover this pursuit, again, that fire may be tied to this pursuit suspect, and it may have been accidental because the trailer uh, behind this truck has at least uh, two flat tires, so that could have sparked as he was making his way through the P Topanga Canyon area. Uh, any idea of uh, the original want? I'm seeing uh, reports of reckless driving. Stu, what are you hearing? Well, that, that would be for our, uh, our assignment desk, but I pretty much can say that reckless driving is what got the attentions of, of the LAPD officers earlier on. We do know that this was a following before it went to pursuit, meaning that those officers were basically trailing behind that vehicle, waiting to get additional officers behind them. So you probably was one uh, one's black and white uh, vehicle, and then they basically was waiting for the other ones to get there before they turned on their lights and sirens to try to pull this driver over. But 
They Believe me, that driver knew that that officer was behind him and didn't make any attempt to stop, so it did turn into a pursuit. It was a short one at first when we first arrived there, and then we saw another little short stint that got us here just inside the Malibu area. Again, people that might be just joining us might be saying, well, Malibu's Sheriff's Department. It is. You are correct. But this started in the LAPD area, and this is a very dangerous suspect. Uh, apparently, they want this person stopped, so they stayed behind him. And then, of course, we saw that trailer. That was a very dangerous situation. Thank goodness it didn't make its way into oncoming traffic. Right now, though, it seems like the driver of that vehicle is in negotiations with somebody on the phone. I just hope whoever it is is very level-headed and will be able to talk this person out of that vehicle so that this will come to an end peacefully and we don't see anything like we saw just moments ago where he just tears out of here once again, dragging that trailer behind him. Well, Malibu, of course, was uh, one of the hot spots for Labor Day Monday. So if this was 24 hours ago, this would have certainly caused just an incredible backup. If it looks like he's hanging up. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, Marla. No, that's okay. No. Absolutely. Yeah, so it, it did look like he just hung up the conversation, held up, hung up the phone. There yeah. you go. Uh, but what about the backup as we continue to uh, see what this suspect does? Backup obviously is pretty thick in both directions. Uh, actually, it's, it, I'm, I'm happy to still know it is, it is get, it's starting to really back up from Surfer Beach over to uh, Pepperdine University. You can see that the southbound lanes really starting to build over there, and then the uh, northbound lanes, probably about the same amount. Uh, they haven't made any traffic breaks yet. Maybe the Sheriff's Department or California mm. Highway Patrol might come in and basically tell these people, you're going to have to make a U-turn, find an alternate way to get around until this comes to an end. Because right now, this is kind of a stand It's not kind of. It is a standoff situation. That driver holds all the cards. If he doesn't get out of the vehicle, then he's not going to get out of the vehicle. If he drives away, this is everything is really kind of up to that suspect right there. Uh, you can see, so, oh, it looks like he's got the keys in his hand. Thank goodness. So so if he tosses those, that's going to be a sign that this definitely is going to be coming to an end. <laughs> and then I just realized, too, you know, we don't really know. Maybe those are just keys, not the keys to the truck. But he definitely appears to have some keys in, in his hand right now, hanging them out the window. And, I and, uh, and well, I'm sorry, Marley, I, I just heard that they're actually saying that they're sunglasses. They're sunglasses oh. in the California and, and the law enforcement out here. Uh, the uh, LAPD is actually they're They're almost putting money on it that he's going to run again. Oh, now he's hanging out and obviously continuing a, a conversation, a lively one, with uh, the several LAPD officers pointing. He's obviously very agitated. Yeah. Yes. Definitely yelling has at some officers. Anger issues, no doubt about that. And, and, uh, and he's, uh, he's being very animated when he's talking to those officers down there. And this is not going to help the situation. Of course, they're trained professionals. They, they, you know, they Believe me, they hear a lot, they see a lot, and they actually endure a lot. They, you know, some harsh words from a, a suspect, probably not going to ruin their day, but uh, definitely not going to make it any better for that suspect. But it also gives them an idea what they're dealing with right now. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be how they're going to approach him and how they're going to hopefully bring this to an end peacefully. Why he isn't driving? Well, all I can say right now is I'm happy that he's not moving right now. Uh, he's uh, now he's, uh, oh. he's very, very angry. He's, he, this, uh, he's clearly agitated at everything around him. And uh, this situation not going to get any better until he gets out of that vehicle and basically just gives up. Oh, yeah. And the other thing, the officers always have to uh, go with the assumption that he's armed. Yeah, that... Yeah, he could. He definitely could have a weapon. It looks like he still has his latte in his other hand right there. So, uh, you know, maybe this is a caffeine issue. I, we shouldn't really poke, poke jokes at things like this because right now that suspect's still not in custody. And clearly, you can see this is a, he's in a very disturbed type of state right there. Uh, leaning out the window, continuing to yell at the officers. And uh, but you can see those officers very stoic right now. Just kind of let you know, let the water pass under the bridge. Let the anger kind of eventually, ho hopefully that uh, what's going to happen is you know he's just going to kind of you know get tired and then then hopefully start reasoning and then get out of the vehicle. Hearing some more information that we kind of already understood how this worked. But uh, but they're saying that that trailer it wasn't it wasn't malicious in the sense that he was an arsonist pulling over to set the fire, but that dragging that trailer is what caused the fire. We're hearing that we're hearing more confirmation about that right now from from LAPD.
Okay, and are you in fact hearing as well that they've made pretty significant work of that already and, and gotten those flames under control? Yes, they, uh, they definitely have that fire under control. I don't know if they've reopened uh, PCA, uh, I'm sorry, Topanga Canyon yet. It's probably going to be a while. That, and he's off again. So, and we're starting to move. Now, I, I can tell you that other law enforcement agencies that patrol this area, he took off his shirt, uh, you know, it, it is, uh, they are in the area as well, and they might have some tricks up their sleeve. We'll see what happens. But uh, right now, we did see that vehicle start to move a little bit. I uh, kind of wonder why he's starting and stopping like this. It's, it is pretty interesting. So he might be a little bit conflicted, and hopefully reasoning will uh, make more sense to him and uh, he doesn't uh, do those high-speed maneuvers with that damaged trailer uh, driving next to all these uh, civilians out here on Pacific Coast Highway in the Malibu area. All right, let's uh, let's do a recap as we look at this. So beginning with the most recent event and that is he took his shirt off. Uh, he's clearly yep. agitated. Uh, this is a suspect who took officers through the Topanga Canyon area, uh, inadvertently perhaps started a brush fire in the Tabinga Canyon that shut down that area while crews uh, reportedly made quick work of those flames. The pursuit continued on. He got onto PCH northbound, stopped uh, for just a couple of minutes. We thought that was the end of the pursuit and then he decided to uh, speed up. The pursuit was back on a couple of miles down the road northbound. Here we are now in Malibu. Uh, officially, uh, it's shut down both southbound and northbound lanes, and the standoff continues with at least six uh, LAPD uh, patrol cars behind them. Those officers gun drawn. They've had conversations, obviously, with this suspect. He's gotten uh, very angry, agitated in the driver's seat. He just decided just to drive again, just a few hundred feet there, uh, if that, and now we are in that standoff mode again. Uh, and. Obviously, traffic is building northbound and southbound on PCH. Stu? Yep, definitely. I got all the points right there, Marla. <laughs> and right now, he's just kind of sitting there with his, with his shirt off. At least we haven't seen those uh, angry outbursts that he was uh, doing earlier on, banging on his truck, banging on the mirror. Uh, but uh, definitely, clearly took his shirt off. Don't know what, that, you know what that's really about. It kind of looks like he almost has his foot out the window as well. But uh, right now, it looks like he's still, he's kind of settling in. That's the best way I could say that. Uh, and as long as those keys are in that vehicle, Vehicle, those officers are not going to make an approach to that vehicle to get him out of there. Uh, they, they don't want him driving off and or, you know injuring or uh, causing or even making be giving him the ability to try to harm an officer. That's probably the best way to say it. So right now they're going to be standing their distance. There's probably some negotiations going on. I don't know if they have a professional negotiator. I could I find it hard to believe that somebody is here already. But there's probably definitely calls been made. So there's might be somebody in route right now, but that uh, driver of the truck right now got his foot out the window, back on the cell phone, and uh, kind of looks like he's settling in for a little bit out here as uh, this, the standoff continues with LAPD and a suspect that was in pursuit with a trailer that was damaged that started a small brush fire in Topanga Canyon just earlier on, and right now we're in Malibu, and uh, Pacific Coast Highway definitely closed in both directions. And like you said, traffic definitely building out here, even though it's a Tuesday afternoon. But uh, vehicles, they're going to start, they're, they're going to figure it out. They're going to start making turns and getting around the other way. Well, I am here in our assignment desk working uh, this story and trying to uh, get the latest information as it relates to the fire that uh, this suspect started. I'm seeing here that that has grown to about an acre. This is according to the LA County Fire Department. So that might not be completely out at this point. It's now uh, approaching 2.45 in the afternoon. That was sparked, I would estimate, about 30 minutes minutes ago. Uh, the pursuit then really took off and now here we are in this standstill standoff mode uh, PCH in, in Malibu and uh, it does look like he does, has his foot out the window as you uh, made that observation Stu. 
Yeah, definitely. I, I got to admit, I actually do the same thing when I'm uh, sitting in my truck listening on the talking on the phone. But uh, th but I usually don't have a number of officers behind me and I wasn't in a chase. So but this guy right now, this is kind of a set of defiance. You saw this anger issues earlier on. Now he's basically just being very defiant. He knows these officers are there. He probably knows that he's inconveniencing a lot of people and just being very defiant about uh, just letting himself go into custody and bring this thing to a peaceful end. Uh, we did see him move. I kind of wonder why he does these short little stents. He just kind of moves and then stops and then moves and then stops. Uh, but right now that trailer clearly damaged, but we saw it earlier on. It didn't really make any difference. That truck can pull that trailer no problems whatsoever. Now he's moving around again down there. It looks like he was on the phone. So clearly he's talking to somebody. That's a great sign. And uh, hopefully that person can talk some reason into him right now. It looks like he's maybe taking a breather. This might be the point where he kind of comes to and says, you know, oh, no, he's still on the phone. And But hopefully he just gets himself out of that car. LAPD, they are still here. I can tell you, those guys, it looks like they're just standing around, but they are formulating a little bit of a plan. Hopefully they'll be able to put something into action here. And if he does drive away, I know that there's other things that could be in the works uh, from the uh, sheriff's department that might help bring this thing to an end as well. Stu, can you hear me? And, uh, oh, yeah. And, okay. Uh, def go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you can see those officers right there. They have made calls. They are looking to get some more qualified uh, people out here that are or for with standoff type of situations. And you can see some of the folks, these are residents out here. They made their way out to take a look out the door. And those officers are basically telling them, hey, look, you know what? This is not, the, this is not a, a sightseeing type of uh, situation. You need to get back inside your homes. You right. need to be uh, in, in an area away from here. Uh, definitely you know those officers they they have their weapons out and uh, if this person puts this uh, big heavy truck in a reverse this situation could change very very quickly and uh, and hopefully nobody gets hurt but right now still standoff type of situation definitely on the phone still making these uh, agitated threats and uh, of course uh, LAPD they're working to try to bring this thing to a peaceful end out here in the Malibu area. And uh, LA County Fire is also working to get that brush fire fully contained. It was called in at 204. Fire crews were on scene at 217. So less than 15 minutes later, uh, North Topanga Canyon and Trotto uh, Drive in the city of Topanga itself. And now it's just over an acre, medium brush fire, they're calling it fire running uphill as we had seen initially. And uh, the thing that we've been talking about in the winds, so moderate uh, rate of winds out of the west uh, that those fire crews have to deal with because those Santa Ana's are supposed to pick up this afternoon. In fact, three between three and four. And what do you know, it's almost three o'clock right now. So let's hope that that brush fire that is linked to this suspect uh, according to officials, uh, doesn't cause any uh, serious uh, damage. Uh, obviously, it's it's yeah. still still working in, in the uh, Topanga Canyon area. Uh, all right, so here we are, Stu. We have our eye on this suspect in this, uh, I believe it's a Ford F-350, uh, some sort There's of a work truck, truck uh, that has the words, I got this, printed uh, in the back there. Yeah, it, it, it's clearly, uh, it, it's clearly, you know, a lot of these uh, construction workers and they, you know, they all like to express themselves in, in their own way. I was a construction worker. I did goofy things like that. Is this related to what's going on? It could be, maybe not. So we're just kind of, kind of, we do read that. Thank goodness it isn't any kind of profanity right there. Uh, that vehicle, I could tell, pretty much tell you that's a Dodge. It's going to be a full ton vehicle. Might have been, a, it might even be a four wheel drive type of vehicle. It definitely was pulling that uh, heavy trailer like it was nothing. Uh, right now, though, as you get a little bit wider, uh, you can see that the LAPD still right there. That uh, driver still on the phone, very animated. We saw him take off his shirt. He keeps readjusting himself. So clearly, he's not comfortable with that situation. How could you be with all those weapons pointed at you? But that's the whole point. They just want him to kind of realize, look, this is what's going on. You got to bring this to an end. Just get out of the truck. You know, again, at this time nobody's lives have been lost nobody's been injured thank goodness you have a little bit of a brush fire they put it out it's or it is contained right now so all this person is really facing is some criminal charges these are things that you probably could work out 
in time. But uh, if, he is, if he takes off, things could change so quickly. And that's what all the law enforcement, that's probably what everybody watching does not want to see. Right now, though, LAPD, they're still working the situation. They are, they, the one guy is probably the sergeant down there. He's basically making calls, trying to figure out how they're going to bring this to an end. I'm sure they're calling in some tactical guys as well. But uh, right now, it's still a very active situation out here in Malibu. And... At least two, those sparks started the brush fire through the Topanga Canyon area as this pursuit suspect was being followed by LAPD. Uh, we thought they had that under control, but uh, turns out that that fire has grown now to seven acres. Uh, Stu, go ahead. You were going to say something. Uh, no, I was just going to say it's, it's uh, you know, the uh, seven acres, that, that that definitely growing. When we flew over it originally, it was just a small spot, So, it, but it was a lot of fire, and it was moving uphill with a lot of fuel, and that's what the big danger is. That's what everybody's worried about this weekend. Getting some texts right now from some folks that work in this uh, line of business and definitely saying that this person is displaying some very, very aggressive anger issues down there. So. Uh, you know, it's clearly is what we're seeing. And how do these officers deal with it? I mean, these guys, they deal with a lot of things, and they probably see this type of situation, but they are not professionals. They just, you know, these are just the guys on the streets. And uh, right now, their concern is basically safety. They want to make sure that the public is safe. They want to make sure the other officers are safe. And, of course, we've said it a thousand times, they also want to make sure that that suspect doesn't harm himself or put himself in harm's way. But you can clearly see this person still talking on the phone down there hopefully he's speaking to somebody that's going to be just talking to him mm -hmm. anybody uh, j just kind of talk him out of it and uh, hopefully this person is not trying to you know give him other other ideas for gosh heck no right and uh, but right now this vehicle stopped that's the big plus I unless you're stuck on Pacific Coast Highway right now north and southbound basically right by uh, uh, by Pepperdine, the buildup is already almost from Surfer Beach to the uh, to the Pepperdine, and as we look out to the south, it's a little bit more sporadic. But I'm guessing that's probably because they have law enforcement down there turning people around before they get to this point. So it is going to be traffic issues out here for sure. And then of course, uh, Marla, you were talking about it, uh, seven acres. That's going to be a, quite a time for them to do the mop up, and and. Oh, there goes something out the window right there. Oh, yeah. And apparently now we're, now we're hearing that this also might have something to do with domestic, which just just adds to everything. Oh. And, and you just, you know, you almost feel for this guy. Uh, but uh, definitely now we're hearing that this might be some sort of domestic issue as well. So uh, he stopped here on, on PCH, and clearly this is a situation that's going to be very difficult for the, just law enforcement to handle. But uh, he tossed something out the window. If it was the phone... That might be a good thing because at least he's huh. not going to be able to talk anymore. Oh, it was it was a it was his coffee cup. He's probably out of coffee. So uh, right now, it's that that's what he tossed out the window. But uh, definitely still uh, on the phone down there. You can still see his hands moving down there. But uh, that's you know it's just not good if he's uh, if he's in a domestic issue right mm -hmm. now and he's talking to somebody. It's just going to fuel the fire and. Right now, that's not what he needs. He needs to get out of that vehicle and just bring this thing to an end before somebody gets hurt. Right, and, you know, so we saw him just uh, throw his coffee cup out the window. He lost his shirt. He took off his shirt about 10 minutes ago. He was banging on the driver's side door, yelling at the officers as they continue to have their guns drawn. Uh, clearly, uh, and this, if this is a domestic situation, you know, there's obviously somebody else involved. Uh, so... Here we go uh, as we continue to watch this pursuit suspect uh, stopped traffic both directions of PCH in Malibu. As you say, this is close to Pepperdine. So if you know of anybody who has plans to travel in this area, I certainly want to direct them away because they're not going to get through uh, because of this pursuit suspect. Uh, that's also linked to a nearby brush fire that at last check has... Uh, 
grown to seven acres. So the latest information that brush fire burning near North Topanga Canyon Boulevard and, and Entrado Drive in Topanga has grown to about seven acres. This is according to the Los Angeles County Fire Department who uh, is out there working those flames uphill. Now, Stu, so they were, this was a following reckless driving involved. Do we know where this originated? No, we can only speculate. We take a look at those uh, LAPD vehicles down there. They're all from Topanga Division. So my guess it would have started probably on the other side of the hill, like in the valley side. Uh, somewhere near Topanga Boulevard. They were on Topanga Canyon Boulevard for some time, so probably started over there in that area. Uh, what got their attention? Well, reckless driving, you know, vehicle moving around, maybe even the fact that it was missing some tires at one point. That would be a, that would get enough for the uh, LAPD to want to pull this person over, especially in a high fire area with sparks being thrown, and you see what happened. Seven acres of fire. That's, that's a good size. We do know that the uh, Quebecs are out there right now. The, if you uh, if I use the word Quebec and you don't know what that is, those are the uh, water dropping aircraft from Canada, the big yellow ones, the big flying boats. They've actually made their way out there too to do some water drops and they do drop a lot of water. So that's gonna definitely be helping that firefight out there. We don't see much smoke, so that's a huge sign for, uh, for the positive column. Uh, this right here, this is still a big giant negative column right now. The, you can see that uh, person, that driver, still very agitated down there, LAPD, they're still in a standoff situation they are doing what they can to calm the situation but right now there's very little that they can really do and uh, and to get some professionals out here that's going to be an effort for them as well and of course they're going to have traffic so it's going to be some time unless this person who's holding all the cards right now basically just gives up and that's that would be the best thing that would happen uh, just kind of just get out of the car and just let himself go into custody whatever it is you guys can fix it <laughs> right now but uh, if if you know things could change very drastically and then this could become a, si a entirely different situation more tragic indeed so this is as we approach the three o'clock hour uh, this th those initial flames uh, were sparked uh, at officially at 204 that's when the la county fire department got the call so here we are almost an hour into this traffic completely stopped on the pch in malibu as we zoom in and I'm going to ask something, uh, Stu. I'm sure that our cameras can't pick up that logo on the side of the truck. We still we don't have the capability to uh, to be able to actually read that. Correct? No, that that we're right right now is we're pretty much at the end of the lens. That's uh -huh. about as good as it's going to get. Uh, it could be a work logo. I mean, it looks a little official, but. Uh, I really doubt that that's a, 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 like a, a federal or a government uh, type of logo. It's, it's probably just something that it, maybe it's a part of his company. Uh, but uh, right now you can see that he's still just there on the phone. Yeah, we might be able to do a little bit of a move around to maybe get Sky Fox to get a different angle. But we are in a really good spot. We're the only, probably one of the only ones that can see the driver. So that might be one of the reasons why we don't want to move around as much as we should. Uh, but you can see that LAPD They've, they've got the vehicle not surrounded because they're not going to surround it because you saw it. That vehicle not disabled. They, he, he can start and start driving mm. at any time, mm -hmm. so they don't want to put anything in front of him, especially not a vehicle. Uh, a little bit up the road, there might be something else up there that might help bring this to an end but uh, it brought to them by the uh, sheriff's department because we are in the uh, sheriff's area that we're well established in the Malibu right now. That helicopter that you just saw go by, that's gonna be the LAPD helicopter. That's been there since the beginning. And, uh, and right now, it's just kind of a standoff. They're just kind of letting the officers say that all the time. Time is on their side. They've got, they, that's what they got going on. And they will wait this out as long as need be, as long as he doesn't drive off or, or the situation changes drastically. They'll wait him out, and hopefully he'll just kind of calm down, get a little tired of what he's doing, and just get out of the vehicle and give up. But right now, definitely a standoff. A lot of folks being inconvenienced this afternoon out here on Pacific Coast Highway. There's huge amounts of cars in both directions and we're actually starting to see some people getting out of their vehicles uh nobody making their way over here or close enough because uh, the law enforcement will not let them clearly because it is a dangerous situation and if shots are fired they don't want to have any civilians in this area well is this one of those situations as we zoom to see more of the uh, backup there that people are actually making u-turns to head back yep. southbound because they literally have nowhere to go 
Oh, yeah, we definitely. see that right there. There we go. Yeah, yep. definitely. And that's right now, that's probably the smart move, mm -hmm. even if you have to go way out of your way, because there's no there's no telling how long that this is going to be going on. And it may be going on for quite some time. We've seen these go for hours, well into the night sometimes, because like I said, law enforcement, they're just going to wait this guy out. He's definitely holding all the cards right now. Hopefully, probably, most likely not armed, but uh, definitely that vehicle is is definitely a, a very heavy vehicle could create a lot of damage and that's what they're trying to avoid right now and maybe they just don't want to spook him you know maybe they don't want to get too close to him have him drive off again and start that whole thing up again so right now he's still on the phone he seems to be a little bit more just his demeanor a little bit more relaxed and uh, hopefully whoever's talking to him is going to talk him down and get let's just say hey get out of the truck Go, 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 go put on those handcuffs and uh, we'll, we'll work it out from there. It looks like he's motioning something with his uh, hand out, out of the window. It's hard for me to get a clear look, but does it not? Yeah, oh, definitely, Marley. And, you know, this is the thing. We want, when, you know, when we're in the helicopter, we don't get to interview people very often. And uh, so we watch, we watch body language. We, we tend to learn how, what they're doing, how they're acting. And this is a definite uh, departure from the uh, punching the side of the truck and the mirror and uh, all that agitation that he was doing earlier on. This seems to be a little bit more relaxed type of situation, which is great. It doesn't mean he's getting out of the car, but it's definitely great. This is not that angry that uh, we saw earlier on. So, again, this the only thing we can say right now is if you're in the area or plan on taking Malibu or you know somebody that's going to be driving down PCH through Malibu, don't do it. Don't do it right now. That's for sure, especially by Pepperdine. You're going to you're gonna get stuck. And uh, these folks that are making those U-turns, I would be saying they're, they're, they're doing the right choice right now because even if this comes to an end right now, it's probably probably going to be a good hour or so before they actually open up the lanes and get this thing all cleared up and stuff. So, you know, make make that U-turn, find an alternate uh, uh, an alternative to get to wherever you're going. Right now, this suspect sitting in the car talking on the phone with a number of LAPD behind him. And again, these guys not just standing there, believe me, they're on the phone, they're making calls, they're on their radios, they're trying to bring this thing to an end, bring it, have a resolution to this as soon as they can. All right, well, as we continue to uh, watch this unfold, let's uh, show you the, the brush fire that this suspect is linked to. This is in Topanga Canyon, and right here, this is Skyfox when making its way to the pursuit, picked up uh, the smoke in the area, and then as we zoom in, you get a good look at those flames. So the situation here was this was the following of this pursuit suspect in this truck carrying the trailer, and because there are flat tires on that back trailer, that apparently sparked uh, and lit this brush fire that has now grown to seven acres. It's been working for about 60 minutes for an hour at this point, grown to about seven acres. And so that pursuit suspect then carried it on uh, to northbound. PCH has stopped uh, a couple of times, and we're thinking that that is the end of the pursuit. And now it's just the standoff, as we see here. So. We actually, Stu, can uh, re-rack some of that pursuit video that we uh, had earlier because that's, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at that then. Yep. Yeah, so uh, there we go. So this is soon after that fire started uh, in the two o'clock hour. Northbound PCH uh, weaving uh, in both lanes here at times, crossing over the double yellow line, stopping for a couple of minutes, talking to officers, and then carrying on again. And here we are now where we've been stopped for probably about, I would say, Stu, what, 30 minutes? Oh, I'm sorry. Stu? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Marla. I was talking with the pilot. Uh, we're just keeping an eye on what's going on out there. We did watch everything that you guys saw earlier on. We watched it live. There were some moments there. It, it might not look that crazy. That trailer was swerving around, that big truck in those center lanes, and there were so many other vehicles in the opposing traffic. And the biggest fear was that that vehicle could lose control or the trailer could just come off or lose control and slide into go, go into a vehicle head-on, going the other direction. That was the biggest fear. Thank goodness nothing like that 
that happened. This vehicle came to a stop and then made a made probably about you know two lengths of the vehicle and then came to a stop again. That driver right now he's got his hands on the steering wheel, which is a little disconcerting. But we haven't seen the brake lights come on. We haven't seen any motion in that vehicle. So hopefully he's just contemplating right now. Maybe he's just enjoying his last couple of minutes of freedom uh, before he lets him get you know gets out of that vehicle. But again, a law enforcement they're out here. They're trying to do what they can. They are talking to some other pe folks that may be related to this person and trying to figure out how they can try to resolve it or give him help, at least something, so that he can feel like he can get out of that vehicle and safely and uh, and basically bring this standoff to an end. As far as the traffic goes, it's, it's about the same. As, uh, we're watching as some of these people are leaving uh, the, the, the stop traffic on Pacific Coast Highway, especially out by the... Uh, excuse me, by the uh, Pepperdine area, but it seems like other people are just kind of coming in after they leave. There you go, mm. that's gonna be the uh, Sheriff's Department up there. Like I said, they are kind of ready if that vehicle starts moving again, and they are in this position right there where they might not be able to get out of the way quick enough if that truck starts moving. There's, you got the Fire Department there on standby as well, just in case medical needs are gonna be needed. and. And, uh, and we can see that uh, then it goes off to the actual, was far back to where the uh, last of the civilians are and all that stopped traffic is. So that's what's going on, at least on the southbound side of the Pacific Coast Highway. Uh, LAPD, they're on the northbound side. They have it blocked. They don't have those, those resources behind them, as in the uh, fire department, but they are on standby. You can see them right there, very close by. And the sheriff's department, well, they kind of have their vehicle set up like that so that if that vehicle starts moving, the suspect's vehicle, that is, they're going to have to kind of funnel them into a, a spot so that might be able, they might be able to use some other techniques to bring that truck to a stop. But right now, he's not moving. Mm -hmm. He's in that truck. He's making his, uh, basically on the phone right there. I'm just kind of hoping he doesn't have a phone charger and then maybe the phone will die here shortly and that'll bring this to an end also. But uh, LAPD, they are not as jovial about what's going on. This is a very, very situa it's very serious situation. And of course, many people, you know, it, they know it or not, they're, they were in some sort of peril today as this vehicle moving very, very fast down Pacific Coast Highway and uh, swerving. Thank goodness nobody was injured. All right, so we're learning that that fire is still first alarm. Uh, seven acres holding there uh, in Topanga Canyon. Uh, Topanga Canyon Boulevard uh, still closed in both directions as now uh, LAPD officers and also the sheriff's deputies have this suspect boxed in, as you just showed us, right north of this truck is the sheriff's department deputies. And then here we have LAPD uh, black and whites there, at least six of them with their officers with those uh, guns drawn. So so he is boxed in and cannot go anywhere at this point. Well, boxed in, they, they're going to leave. A, they're going to leave an opening for him. They want. They don't want him to start ramming vehicles or anything like that. So, but if they, if basically what's going on right there is they're going to have some. Uh, I, and I'm sure nobody's going to call the suspect and let him know. They have. Uh, they have spike strips set up basically. So if this vehicle makes a move and starts driving away, you can kind of see where he has to go between those cars. That's going to give those deputies the opportunity to put those spike strips out and then hopefully uh, deflate some of those tires on that big heavy truck. Truck. Again, though, these are lots of ifs and ands and maybes. Right now, this suspect clearly not moving, not driving anywhere. Don't know why he picked this one particular spot to stop. And basically just on the phone inside that truck talking with whoever he's been talking to. We did get some information that this is domestic or there is a domestic aspect to this. We don't know what part that means. Uh, but uh, definitely has something to do with uh, with a domestic relationship. So right now he's basically in that truck, clearly upset. The, uh, that trailer damaged. Don't know if the, how that damage happened to the trailer or why, but it did start a brush fire. Then, like you said, holding at seven acres. We don't see much smoke anymore. So uh, LA County Fire definitely must have gotten a good handle on that. But it was really burning when we first arrived out here. We know that the Quebecs, those uh, giant water. 
dropping uh, aircraft from Canada that are always on loan for us out here. They've they've made a couple of drops already, so it, they've got they've got the resources to get that under control. What's going on right now, though? These kind of resources, well, they don't have that right now. The only thing they can do is kind of deal with what this suspect is doling out. And right now, he's just on the phone. We saw a lot of agitation earlier on, a lot of aggression in that driver towards officers. But thank goodness, it is just aggression, and they haven't seen any physical threats to the officers. Right now, though, seems like some kind of more phone call time for this guy, and uh, hopefully they'll just kind of talk him down. But if he does drive off, there are some other obstacles that he's going to have to deal with, and hopefully they will actually help bring this to an end and uh, that suspect doesn't try to careen into uh, deputies or anything like that. Right now, though, it's really all up to that driver, that suspect right there. If he's holding the cards, all he has to do is get out and bring this thing to an end or make a, make a drastic move, and then it's going to be an entirely different situation once again. A, a quick encouraging update. We're hearing from LAFD now uh, assisting LA County Fire uh, on that first alarm brush fire burning into Benga Canyon. They're getting a good handle on it, they say. So that is encouraging news. Hey, Stu, you've been up uh, flying around uh, Los Angeles skies for a long time. Uh, how does this one compare, this pursuit uh, standoff compared to what you've covered in the past? Marley, you you know it as well as I do. They're all so different, and they they all just have this they, you know, that 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 we just don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know. Uh, when he got all agitated and we got all crazy like that, I was really worried that it was going to take a turn for the south. Maybe he was going to make some sort of drastic move. Thank goodness he seemed to have calmed down a little bit. But you know, you just don't know. And I think that's what brings so many people to watch these pursuits is because we want you want to see how that they want to see how they resolve it. They want to see how the problems are solved. They want to see uh, you know where this where this adventure goes that's basically what what we're watching right now this is a human adventure right now uh, this guy he's not racing through the streets thank goodness because when that trailer was whipping around I tell you every time I was this I could just see that thing fishtailing out and hitting a vehicle or just turning this into something else there we go there we go oh, they're, they're, they're making in. their move up there and again these guys these guys some of them have are have guns and other mm. ones have the less than lethal, but it really looks like they're just walking over, helping that gentleman out of the car, and bringing this thing to an end. Thank goodness, right, Mala? Yeah, that was sudden. Yeah, it was sudden, wasn't it? That was it. And look at that. It was it actually in the end was very peaceful. He's not even really putting up a fight. He basically right. just put his hands up, and they they carried him out of the vehicle, helping him up right there. And uh, of course, now he's cuffed. And this is bringing this to an end right now. Thank goodness, uh, like I said, maybe the vehicle was disabled. Maybe he was out of fuel, but uh, definitely uh, going, into, going into custody right now. And, and again, it looks like he's clearly distraught. It almost, I, I almost feel for the guy a little bit. Yeah, maybe he's intoxicated. That's uh, what, uh, what's, what the conversation is inside the helicopter mm -hmm. right now. But uh, definitely, uh, Definitely uh, very emotional down there for sure. But the suspect in custody, and that's what counts. Nobody was injured, no officers injured, and uh, the suspect, uh, he's, he's, if, if he has any injuries, it's minor for sure. But this bringing this to an end out here, right by Surfer Beach in the Malibu area. Sky Fox, I just have to let everybody know we need to go for fuel. <laughs> so, okay. Well, well, perfect timing, right? The suspect in custody. Timing. It's only a matter of time until PCH uh, reopens. Uh, so again, if you do know anybody headed to the Malibu area, Pacific Palisades area, PCH is off limits right now because of the major backups, both in north and southbound. So. Thank you so much for your reporting up in Sky Fox. Uh, please go get uh, go land and refuel. Of course, you, we'll have a, a full wrap up on uh, this uh, pursuit and pursuit standoff in Malibu coming up in less than two hours on the Fox 11 News at five o'clock. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. I'm Marla Tejas in the Fox 11 Newsroom. We'll send you off to Dr. Oz already in programming. All right.